So, clearly the iPhone's important. Clearly the iPhone's st is holding steady. Uh, but as you say, Andy, they need something to get people's attention every 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 Q4, right? Uh, how do you how do you uh, do that this year? I have a bet, you know. You make it transparent, Leo, and then you pick it into goggles. So Scoble, Scoble, what do you think of that? Scoble was on uh, Twit on Sunday, <laughs> and man, is he adamant? He is sure that Apple's going to release a clear iPhone for the 10th anniversary <laughs> iPhone. Is that? I I <sighs> thought that is so outre that I said, I'll tell you what, I'll make a bet, a one-sided bet. You don't even have to give me anything if if you're <laughs> if uh, if uh, you're you're wrong because I know you're going to be wrong, and I want to, but I will take you to your favorite French restaurant in Paris. Wow, we even made it in the news there. In Paris, if uh, Apple releases a clear iPhone, am I at risk? Yeah, Georgia and Peter's faces there are just classic with you, Leo. I mean, it, makes, <laughs> yeah. it makes for a very good skeptic sandwich. Uh, I don't think I'm at great risk here. It's, it's, no. What's really hard about this stuff is that when someone hears rumors, like if, if you go to Johnny Ive and you say, what's the iPhone 8 going to be? And he sits down and explains it to you, you can give a very good impression of what that phone is. Yeah. You can describe it to people. You can elaborate on it. If you hear whispers here and there, like, oh, it's being made out of glass. And in your mind, glass translates. And I'm not saying this is what happened with Scoble, but in your mind, glass translates into transparency. And then you tell somebody that. And then, like, that very easily echoes down. And that's why we see a lot of people who can report on excellent data. Like, they they know certain things about it, but they don't know the story or how or the context or what that what it actually ends up meaning. And that, I think, is where we get with this. Like, Apple is absolutely working on augmented reality and AR. And they're absolutely working on... Uh, casings for the iPhone that are made out of substances like glass I mean, uh, on a I chemical think, level. Well, here's what I'm going to bet. I think you nailed it, that he heard bits and pieces and, and assumed that that was a clear iPhone. Augmented reality, we're already seeing this, for instance, with uh, Pokemon Go, where you take the camera's image, put it on the screen, so it's as if you're looking at the world, as if it's a clear phone. Right. And, and he has his totally interests. doable, like, like, and I'm sure that's something Scoble that... Scoble has very specific interests about the future, and right. what he heard is probably filtered through that lens. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to I don't want to rag on Robert, and you know what? We're going to all be eating crow when Robert's right in in nine months. But, uh, Tim Cook comes out with the transparent iPhone <laughs> on his face. I do agree yeah. with him that AR is in the future, and I do <laughs> hope that there'll be something uh, announced uh, this year in AR. But again, that to was get back the one to this, thing that... Go ahead. Sorry, in, in the earnings, when people when they talked about R and D, a lot of people said, "Oh well, Project Titan is not dead." Blah, blah. Project Titan is only a very small part of the special groups that Apple has working. So yes, that you know that's there and that's being accounted for. But when you look at it, that includes things like AR. It includes a, a lot of projects that Apple's working on that we may never see, like the TV project of a few years ago. What so were the R and D it's, numbers? It's, it's, are, are they up? Uh, I f I forget what they are. I'd have to look them up again. Historically, but it, Apple uh, they, are, they are on the rise. Used to spend less than anybody else on R and D, and people like Ben Thompson and Jean Louis Gasset would point to that and say, you know, that that's unusual for a company of that size to spend so little on R and D. But it did ramp up over the last year or so. Uh, yeah. And that was obviously Project Titan. It's and, also a functioning of how good they are at prototyping because they can do a lot of things in that little lab that makes them save a lot of money later yeah, on. Right. The R and D is yeah. simple if Johnny Ive runs the whole. The whole show, right? <laughs> you don't have 18,000 people working on it.